Hey guys, example three here, and uh, if we evaluate the limit as is, um, we get zero over zero, but we're gonna get serious and use series. Um, so um, yeah, and here's how we're gonna do that. So we're gonna start off uh, with the Maclaurin series for ln of one plus x. Remember, ln of x does not have a Maclaurin series. And we also need the Maclaurin series for cosine of x. Um, because we're going to take the Maclaurin series for cosine of x and subtract 1 from both sides and uh, get the Maclaurin series for cosine of x minus 1. And why do we want that? Well, because, look, uh, if we take the Maclaurin series for ln of 1 plus x and plug in cosine of x, we're going to get the Maclaurin series for ln of 1 plus cosine of x. We don't want that. We want the Maclaurin series for ln of cosine of x. So, and the red x um, in the Maclaurin series expansion for ln of 1 plus x, we should plug in cosine of x minus 1. But wait, what does that even look like? Well, that would mean that it looks like we'll have an infinite series within an infinite series and an infinite amount of them. Okay, all right, you'll see what I mean. Um, first, let's show via simple arithmetic that if we plug in cosine of x minus 1 uh, into ln of 1 plus x, we get ln of cosine of x. But that, in terms of the series expansion for ln of um, 1 plus x, amounts to replacing all of these red x's and the infinite sum with an infinite sum. That is with this guy here, right? Okay. So what does that look like? That'll look like this. Yeah? Okay. Looks intimidating, but it's actually not that hard, right? Like, so if you think about it, like if you look at like this giant second term, right? Like that itself has an infinite amount of things, right? Like squaring it amounts to like the usual FOIL process. So its smallest degree term is going to be x to the fourth. And uh, it's going to be like negative x squared over 2 factorial times itself. So it's going to be x to the 4th over 2 factorial times 2 factorial. Therefore, x to the 4th over 4. But we're also dividing it by that black 2. So it's going to be actually um, x to the 4th over 8. But that's just one of infinitely many terms that come out of this second term. And so each of the original terms of... Um, the uh, Maclaurin series expansion for ln of 1 plus x now house an infinite um, sum in them. Okay, but easy enough, right? Easy enough to negotiate anyway. So now if we take this like infinite sum of infinite sums and write it like term by term and we are allowed to rearrange the terms and combine them however we like, right? Like uh, combine like terms. If we do that, then the first three terms will look like this. And you'll see where like that x to the fourth over eight com comes from. But I already know that I made a mistake here because this um, plus sign in front of x to the fourth over eight should be minus because it's that minus sign, minus black sign right here. Yeah. But yeah, obviously, like I got the negative x, x squared over two factorial from this very first thing. And then the x to the fourth over four factorial is right here. But Look, there are no other x to the fourth terms that come about other than uh, the x to the fourth term that comes about from the middle term here that we have to square. And I already intentionally talked about that in great detail. And again, my mistake is that uh, instead of the plus sign here, it should be a minus sign. So let me actually try to fix that. I'll do it in black. This is a minus sign right here. Okay, cool. Um, all right. And I'm not going to bother combining these x to the fourth terms because, as you'll see, right now we only have like three terms of the Maclaurin series expansion for ln of cosine of x. And we're going to have to divide it by x squared to get the quotient that we seek before we send x to zero, right? Um, and, so, and so, you know, I know that even if I divide these two x to the fourth terms by x squared, I'm still going to have an x squared left in the numerator. And when I send x to zero, um, they're both going to go to zero. So, you know, it's, it's silly to combine them and do all that work when I know they're just going to end up being zero. Now, I'm going to show that we're going to divide by x squared by multiplying by 1 over um, x squared, right, uh, in the expression for ln of cosine of x. 
and I intentionally have put this um, black plus sign in the dot dot dots because well like remember we only selected like three terms two from here and then one from this middle term but there are like strings and strings of them right okay cool but none of them end up being important because once we divide by x squared that is multiplied by one over x squared so as to get the quotient we uh, have been after all along um all but the very first term end up having x squared or x squared or more right like they have at minimum an x squared all of them except for the very first term we see that the limit uh, unsurprisingly is going to be negative one half and um yeah okay cool so if you've watched the previous examples i don't think i need to explain that anymore all right um yeah uh, i'll have many more videos including detailed mclaurin series um expansions and modifications and all that so keep watching take care